And we are back with another Dork on Twitter episode. And it actually happened. It's actually happened. This is a major, a major, a massive Dork on L. This is a Dork on L. I don't care what anyone says. This has nothing to do with Dorkon, this or that, or whatever you say. I don't care. This is a Dorkon L. Legends not only has one Beast Gohan, they now have two Beast Gohans. And the Beast Gohan isn't coming to Legends, the second one. He's already in Legends. Dorkon officially has two Beast Gohans, while Dorkon does not even have one. It's just not fair. Like, this is truly not fair. There is one thing that could make this whole situation a lot worse, and that is the next tweet. This tweet over here is from the boy Abu Lok. What this tweet is, is a prediction for the 9 year anniversary. The prediction is Beast Gohan and UI Goku for the 9 year anniversary. Now if this came to global at the same time, this would be the greatest celebration in the history of this game. But th the way things are going, global will not celebrate the anniversary at the same time. And if global has to wait 6 months for Beast Gohan, you best believe I'm gonna be raging. Like this would be the final nail in the coffin that Beast Gohan is just the ultimate L in Dokkan. Right now, he is by far the biggest L in Dokkan. But if Global has to wait six months, this is the ultimate L, and there is nothing Dokkan has ever done, is doing, or will ever do that will top this L. There is nothing that can be worse than this in Dokkan. Because this anniversary would be by far the best anniversary at the same time. I will consider that. But the issue with this is that Global would have to wait 6 months. And I do not want to wait 6 months. Damage units without built-in crit. Who's better on their best setups? Tech Brawly or Goku? Um, Honestly, I would probably say... Actually, I don't know. I was going to say Brawly, but I really don't know. To be honest, I don't care. Because both of them are very, very unimpressive. Both of them should have been significantly better. I would probably say Brawly is better, to be honest. But neither of them are good. Both of them are mid. And that is being generous to call them mid. They should have been so much better. They got so shafted. It's not fair. With Goku, it was worse. Because he was like the third Goku, base form Goku premium unit. Within the span of a few months, which is just a massive Dokkan L. I can well speaking of L's, let's talk about some W's now. This guy is a massive W. I can now say I understand why Super Saiyan 4 Vegito does not raise defense on Super Attack. If he raised defense on Super Attack, he would he it, it would take a long time for him to age. Like as things stand, I think this unit will age well for a while. Because he's that guy. He's really good. I'd be surprised if he's not like still super good this time next year because his kit is just really good with 60% damage reduction. The only thing that could make this unit age is one of two things. The units around him become garbage so he's, u so he's useless because he's restricted to certain teams. That's number one. The units around him become garbage. Or number two, we get a lot more long form difficult content. Like all of the new content is long form which would actually kill this unit, but as things stand, this unit is really good, and as things are going, it seems like this unit will age well, but time will tell, as it usually does. I'm gonna have to go ahead and agree with this tweet, like a lot of people have been debating which unit is better, God Goku or 23rd World Tournament Goku, and I'm gonna say this, personally I think God Goku's better, I think it can certainly be argued either way. I think Tech Goku has the better leader skill. I think Tech Goku has the higher cap. But I think God Goku provides a bit more consistency, which is why I prefer this unit. But 
I could see the argument going either way, especially with Ted Goku's active, uh, his leader skill, sorry. But then on top of that, I do think God Goku will also age better. So not only do I think he's more consistent right now, I think in the future he will age better. Maybe I'm wrong. If you guys disagree, let me know. But both of them are goated units and certainly in the same tier. This is a tweet that I made a couple of days ago. The tweet is as follows. Holy moly. The Broly units are actually complete garbage. Garbage. They genuinely have nothing. Dokkan didn't even give them a pity chance to crit or anything. Both of these Broly's are massive Dokkan L's. I did a full showcase on both of them. And both of them were garbage. Both of them were horrendous. Both of them were just not impressive. They offered nothing. A zero to the team. No matter what they say, I will always love you. D3, your opinion is irrelevant on this. The only correct opinion on the unit we see before our eyes is that he is the biggest L in the history of Dokkan and the fact that he is beastless is just a massive Dokkan L. What were they thinking? Why could they not just give us Beast Gohan? And why do we still not have Beast Gohan? Rainbow this was me by the way, I made this tweet, I said that I rainbowed every unit except Rose within the span of 1500 stones. I did get one dupe for this guy, but I rainbowed everything else in 1500 stones, so I'm not going back in, although I did double check, and this isn't completely true, I rainbowed everything except Janemba, and in Janemba I've got 3 dupes. So Janemba has 3 dupes, this guy has 1 dupe, and I rainbowed everything else. So overall I'm satisfied with that. Vegito doesn't need any crit, in my opinion. I don't even think that's just an opinion, that's just straight up fact. Super Saiyan 4 Vegito does not need any crit, mine has zero crit. My build is 18 dodge and 19 additional. I stacked him out with skill ops and I'm very, very satisfied with the way I built him. Speaking of Janemba, as I just mentioned him a bit ago, wait, I also made this tweet, the tweet is, wait, what? Janemba is that guy? He's good. And the thing with Janemba, after he's built up, he's got over a million defense with God. So he's basically untouchable. He can get up to some big impressive numbers. He won't do much damage, but he's not there for damage. He's there to tank, and tanking always ages well in Dogon. And we're gonna end with this tier list. This tier list, I can see the argument for this, but let's go through it. Piccolo Jr. is still number one. I would actually be inclined to agree with that. Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is number two. The thing with Vegito, if he didn't have any restrictions, he would honestly, I would put him at number one. But with the restrictions, I don't even know if he's top three. Minimum, he's number four. But I think I, think I would put Vegito at number four, just because God Goku and Tech well, Tournament Goku, both of them, they can be used on a variety of different teams. And because of that, I think I would put them both above Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Although, to be fair, the more that I think about it, I'm, I don't have that big of an issue with saying this. Because Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, he can triple super, triple crit. And if you add up all the attack stats, it's basically 45 million with like 800k defense and 60% damage reduction. Which is why I'm saying, if he didn't have those restrictions, he would be number one. He would be in contention for the very best unit in the game. If he didn't have restrictions, he probably wouldn't be the best, but he would certainly be in that conversation. He would—he is genuinely that good. He is insane. And they honestly, fair play. They made him very good, and I'm very happy with that. I'm very satisfied. I do not regret summoning because he was worth it. With that said, let's do a quick subscriber challenge. If you guys agree with me that Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is a massive Dokkan W, then you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then do subscribe, especially if you just failed that challenge because that is indeed the challenge. Also, do leave a like and comment because those things do help out. With that said, Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Ta-ta, adios and bye-bye.